Well, in the last several years, our investigative reporter John Mattis has uncovered wild tales of mortgage fraud. But tonight he shines a light on a new scheme that is being used with a single piece of paper to steal mansions. Here is his exclusive Unit 6 report. It's a stunning $1.3 million mansion built just last year in Chula Vista. Now it's in foreclosure. The current price, just under $900,000. Some might say that's a steal, and that's exactly what it's turned out to be. Finally, these people decided that they could take it and make it their own. Christian Peter is a realtor. He sold the mansion on behalf of the bank, but when the buyer went over to get into the house... There was a person who had rekeyed the property. The buyer themselves could not get into it. The property was taken when a so-called deed was filed with the county. They took possession of the house through you know, an, an act of recording a fictitious grant deed. And when the new owner and Christian went back to the house to throw out the intruders... Uh, the police immediately determined that it was a civil matter and that they had no jurisdiction to do anything. The papers had created a loophole that allowed the intruders to keep the mansion they didn't own. We went down to the house and found a grant deed in the window, claiming a man named Maurice Simmons had deeded the house to a church. Hi, I'm John Mattis with San Diego 6 News. How are you doing? I'm doing that well. Oh, no. We're trying to find out uh, who lives here. Oh, the owner is... Um... Oh, my... Maurice, I can remember. Oh, Maurice Simmons? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. We asked, how could that happen? We're trying to figure out how Maurice Simmons got control of a house that he doesn't own. He didn't buy this house. A bank owns this house, ma'am. I don't know, sir. But it has happened, and not just with this property. We discovered on the same day Maurice gave the church the mansion, he also gave another property that he didn't own to the church. The papers he filed for the second property, located on Arizona Street, were almost identical to the papers he used to get the mansion in Chula Vista. At Arizona Street, we met Mark Sussman. He's the vice president of the bank that owns the condo. He's been in court trying to get the condo back from Simmons and the so-called church. This is someone who is doing something that we find criminal. He explained the scheme. Anyone can go to the court's office, and I could transfer the deed on your house. So let me understand this. He steals the house and gives it to the church. That's correct. He was embarrassed telling how easy it is. Anyone can transfer a deed from one property, from a, from a property they don't own to somebody else. How is that different than theft? It, that is theft. That's exact. That's grand theft. It may be hard to believe, but then we met the man behind it all. Maurice Simmons showed up to oust the bank with the paperwork he made up. He told police the deed was real. It's not fake. It's Sovereign Solomon Brothers Archbishop Corporation Soul. Um, that is who owns this condo. He announced he was evicting the bank. So we are changing the lots as of right now. We asked him, how could he do any of it? You granted deed to the church of a mansion you don't own. How is that I'm different sovereign. than theft? I can claim any property on my land. He didn't deny any of it. People say you stole the home. I don't care what people say. Simmons told the police they had no jurisdiction because it was a private matter. It's exactly the same scheme used in Chula Vista to keep control of that mansion. This is a private matter. I mean, really no, this is a criminal matter, sir. No, there's nothing criminal. No, as far as... Okay. Postscript of the story, that night Mr. Simmons was arrested on unrelated charges. Meanwhile, a scheme continues. Four more properties have been taken in the last two weeks. Police say they're investigating. John Mattis, San Diego 6 News.